Okay guys, so on this right here, real quick, before I tell you what all this writing is for, I, I was just trying to record a video and I got interrupted, so I'm not gonna redo this. Um, but what I am doing, I wanna explain real quick. I'm on page 92, okay, 92. Um, I'm gonna explain how I did this, but before I do, I wanna tell you that everything, the way I'm doing it is not the way that the book necessarily teaches you to do it. It's the way that I think is the easiest way to do it, okay? Um, it's the way that I'd recommend you learning how to do it. So this right here, division, you have got to know how to do this. That's gonna help you so, so much, okay, with what we're doing. Now this stuff is actually pretty easy. I'm pretty sure you guys can catch on to this fairly quickly. If not, look at the book also on examples uh, one through four for these types of problems. If you wanna see how the book teaches these types of problems, look at examples five and six, okay? So if you look at this example four, that means you can flip in your book back a few pages and look literally how the book teaches you how to do this type of problem, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to do it my way, um, which sometimes is exactly how the book shows you how to do it. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be easier if you learn especially this right here, okay? This is difficult to learn at first, but once you get it down, it's going to help you so much every single year of math, not just this year. Okay, so starting off, what I was explaining over here was, it says to write each decimal as a fraction or mixed number. So to write a decimal like this, okay, as a fraction, what you need to know is, if you look back at page 90, okay, what you need to know is how to actually say the decimal. So right here, what page 90 is teaching you is 0 0.6, can be written like this, 0 0.6, where the six is under the tenths. So you literally say six tenths. So right here it says, say six tenths. So if you can say it, then you can write it, okay? Or well, right here, this is 0 0.45. So 0 0.45, notice the five is under the hundredths. So you need to say, say 45 hundredths. On this one, you want to say there's 0 0.375, that's thousandths. So 375 thousandths. So if you can say that, look, if you can say it, you can write 375 thousandths, 45 hundredths, six tenths. So that's all I'm doing here. Um, so right here, it has 0 0.4. So that is four tenths. If you went and put that on that other chart that we were just talking about, that's going to be four tenths. So you write it as four tenths. Once you write it as four tenths like this, then you need to simplify. So you have to find the biggest number that divides four and ten, and that's two. Okay, so four divided by two is two. Ten divided by two is five. That's a simplified version of that fraction, and it's done. So it says it needs it in the simplest form. That's what we did there. So this is 0 0.64 hundredths. So notice how I write it, 64 hundredths. Now 64 and 100 can both be divided by four, okay? So I divide 64 by four, that's 16. 100 by four, that's 25, all right? And that is the fraction in the simplest form. And the way you know it's the simplest form is because you can't divide it again, all right? Um, this last one right here, 2.75, uh, so two and 75, so look, here's two and 75 hundredths. Notice I just took the 75 and I wrote it as a fraction. Now the biggest number, the greatest common factor of 75 and 100 is 25. So if I divide 75 by 25, it equals three. And if I divide 100 by 25, that equals four. So this is, this is actually two and, two and, three-fourths, so two and three-fourths. So here's this part is the three-fourths, the two is right here. Two and three-fourths. Now, onto this part. This is the very, very important part, okay? So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Let's look at this. Write each fraction or mixed number as a decimal. So to go from a fraction to a decimal, you need to use division. If you don't understand it after this video, look back at the blog and uh, there's a specific video I recorded that teaches how to convert from fractions to decimals. And I do a lot of division, probably like five or six problems like this, okay? So here's how you do it anyway. The number on top, 
Okay, the number on top, let's see if I can cover some stuff up. If you look at my division right here, see the number on top? The number on top is the number that needs to go inside the division symbol. The number on bottom is the number that's dividing it. So you need to put that on the outside. Now the question is, can 75 divide 27? No, it can't. So look, 75 goes into 27 zero times. And that's what that zero is representing, zero times. So I need to put a decimal and I need to add a few zeros. So that's what I did here, I added a few zeros, okay? Now the thing is, I'm not changing the number. It's still 27.000, so it's still 27. But the zeros help me to actually divide a little further. So for example, let's look at this. 75, 75 doesn't go into 27, it goes in zero times, but 75 does go into 270 three times. So three times, 20, three times 75 is 225. And then you subtract this amount, okay? So once you figure that out, three times 75 is 225, subtract. So 270 minus 225 is 45. Now the next thing is, I bring down the next zero. So here it is, bringing down the zero. So 450, does 75 go into 450? It does. It goes in six times. Six times 75 is 450. So then I subtract. 450 minus 450 is zero. And at this point, I'm done, okay? There's nothing left to bring down. Like, I mean, I could bring down another zero, but that's just how many times does 75 go into zero? So it's just zero and you can keep adding zeros. But the truth is the answer is just point, 0 0.36, 0 0.36. And now I've written that fraction as a decimal. Here it is as a decimal. There was fraction, there's the decimal. So let's go on to the next one. Now I can work the whole thing out for you. Now this is new video, here we go. How many times does two divide into seven? Well, look, take the number on top, put it inside the division symbol, take the number on bottom, the number on bottom, put it outside, okay? Now, two goes into seven, it goes into it three times. So notice I put the three right above the seven. Two times three is six. And then I'm gonna subtract whatever it is. Three times two is six, so seven minus six is just one. Now, here's the thing. This is, I want you to see over here, how I put on all these zeros. I want you guys to get into the habit of using zeros when you need them, okay? So let me see if I can zoom out a little bit more again. So look, seven, I'm gonna use a zero. You have to, if you're gonna put a zero on, you have to use a decimal. Because look, that's still seven. 7.0 7 is still seven. 7.00 7 is still seven. You can put as many zeros as you want on there, okay? And it's still gonna be seven. That's not gonna change, okay? So that's the importance of the decimal. So if you put a decimal, make sure you bring it straight up until you answer as well. So right above, put your decimal. Now, how many times does two go into one? It doesn't, that's why we put these zeros on here. Let's bring a zero down. How many times does two divide into 10? Five times. Five times two is 10. 10 minus 10 is zero. I can bring another zero down, but that's kind of where we reached last time. It's pointless. Two doesn't go into zero anymore. There's nothing left to bring down, so we're done. So this written as a decimal is 3.5, or you can say three and five tenths. Let's go on to the next one. Here's three, so I'm gonna put three here. So now I'm gonna focus on taking the one fifth and converting that to a decimal. So on the inside is a one, on the outside is the five. Now, five cannot go into one. So I'm gonna put, it goes into it zero times. Let's put a decimal. Let's add some zeros. This is still one, okay? 1. 1.000000 is still just one. Let's bring this decimal straight up. Bring it straight up, okay. Now, five doesn't go into one, but five does go into 10. Five goes into 10 twice. Two times five is 10. Zero, I can bring down another zero, but now I'm done using like, I mean, it's never going to change. So five goes into 10, or five goes into 1.2 times. So this is three, and one fifth is the same thing as 
0.2. So there's three, three. One fifth is 0 0.2, 3.2. All right, going on to the next one. Mr. Khalid's car averages 23.75 miles per gallon of petrol. Express this amount as a mixed number in simplest form. So a mixed number is like this. That's a mixed number. So the three and then the fraction. So right here, my mixed number is gonna be 23. And then I need a fraction. So I need to take 0.75 and convert that into a fraction. So 0.75 is point or and 75 hundredths. So look, 75 hundredths. I'm gonna take this and convert it into the simplest form. So I can divide 75 and 100 by actually 25. 75 divided by 25 is three. 100 divided by 25 is four. So this is actually 23 and three fourths. 23 and, 23 and three fourths, okay? This example is just like these examples up here. Same thing. So I took 75 hundredths like this right here. That's what we just did. Same thing right there. Okay, next one. Um, the Siberian tiger can grow up to 10 and 5 or 4 fifths feet long. Expresses lengths as a decimal. So look, there's the 10. Let me just pull that off. Now I need to take 4 fifths and write that as a decimal. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do it right over here. So if I have 5 dividing 4, 5 can't go into 4. Notice the decimals are lined up, but 5 can go into 40. 5 goes into 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract. There's nothing left. I don't need to bring anything down. There's nothing left. Okay, so it's 0.8. So it's, it's 8 tenths. So 10 and 10 and 8 tenths. Okay, going on to the next page. See if I can get through these a little bit quicker. See if I can finish in eight minutes. Here we go. So write each decimal as a fraction in simplest form. So decimals are easy. Remember, this is zero and five tenths. So five tenths like that. And now I need to simplify. I can divide both five and 10 by five. And that equals five divided by five is one. 10 divided by five is two. There it is. I can divide, uh, or this is seven tenths. So seven tenths. Um, there is no number that divides seven and 10. So guess what? That one's done. It's done already. Halas. Okay, this one. Um, this is 33, zero and 33 hundredths. So watch how I write it. 33 hundredths. Okay, so this actually can't be simplified either. It's, it's like seven tenths. You cannot find a number that divides both 33 and 100, okay? So that is the simplest form there. Done. This one, this is 875 thousandths, okay? So I'm gonna write 875 thousandths. Now I can simplify this. I'm gonna start off by, I can divide by five. There's even something bigger. I'm, I'm gonna divide by 25. Let's see what I get out. 875 divided by 25. I know that's going to be 32, 33, 34, 35. Over, 25 goes into 1,000, 40. So 35 over 40, but I'm not done. That's, that's not done yet. It's close. I can divide 35 and 40 again by five. And that's gonna equal 35 divided by five is seven. 40 divided by five is eight. So as a fraction in simplest form, 875 thousandths is the same thing as seven eighths. All right, going on to the next thing. Write each fraction or mixed number as a decimal. Okay, so a decimal means I need to divide. Okay, so 200 does not go into 77. So I need to put a decimal and add some zeros. Okay, so 200 doesn't go into 77. 
but it does go into 770, right? You see that? 